Okay, so today we're gonna make curry layers and gilabat. For most of you don't know who is gil what is gilabat. It's white rice seasoned and boiled long with coconut milk. Um, I have my onion, my garlic, my pepper, my shadow bunny, I have karampule, jira. You'll see the jira and things just now. But I'm going to pong this stuff up in a mortar and pestle. This is a mortar and pestle. And I'll get back to you in a bit. This is your shadow bunny or bandanya. Put that in there. Garlic. Crush it. Garlic. And of course, a scorpion pepper. Right, so this is our bandanya, our scorpion pepper, which is a hot pepper, and our garlic. And I'm going to pong this till it get really, really fine. Right, so this is our bandanya garlic and pepper that we just pong. The reason for ponging this like this, you get the juices and thing. from it, extracted properly. Really nice compared to blending. God, if I look, it smell this. Right, we have our peel onion, which I just peeled. I'm gonna slice it up. So here's my cut chopped onions. And now I'm doing some scythe, fresh scythe for my mommy garden so right we use maggi coconut powder if you don't have fresh coconut to make coconut milk you use the maggi it works I use two packs and I will season this put my pot on the fire to make my gilabat rice Right, so we have some black pepper. Use black pepper to your liking. I like it heavy. And I have some more maggi, all purpose. Just give the food a nice, sweet flavor. You have your salt. We have some scythe, some onions. Woo. And we pong up bandanya, garlic, and scorpion pepper. Alright, now we stir this. God, if I look, it smell this. Mm. Mm. Right, so here is our fireside set up. You see this? This is from coconut branch. Call it fiber, fiber like a husk. Instead of using guardian paper, my trick is I use this to start my fire. It's very simple. Your matches where you have lighter and some dry pieces of twigs, pieces of wood. I get a little bamboo, mango wood and thing. And there you have it. This is your fireside. And I will show you just now. Right, so my pot is hot, as you can see. This is the same mixture I just showed you all. I'm going to put this in the pot. Let that boil a bit. And I will throw in my white rice. And what I'll do, I would let that cook down properly. Till it get lot pot and sticky sticky. And there you will have it. Alright, so while my milk, seasoned milk is boiling up there for the rice, I'm going to season my meat. This is curry layer. this is layers, fresh layers we went by the man and get. We have some black pepper here. Again, I said you could put the amount of black pepper you just use. Me, I just use plenty thing. Mamagi, 
All purpose is the magic. If you don't have it, it's okay. Make do it what you have. And we have some salt. Now this is only looking plenty, but it's a little bit. Don't put too much of salt yet. Right? Now we have some onions. Season a little bit of onions. I'll leave some onion to chunk it there. Don't forget, fresh band onion and garlic blend up with the pepper. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. And I went by the neighbor and I picked some of she carapule. Hey Chantal, thanks for your carapule girl. Yeah. My pot is boiling up, so I had to run fast to throw my hot rice. Well, actually, rice not hot, but yeah. Alright, so season up my meat here, yeah. turning it up. Make sure the seasoning go in all the corner of the chicken, all under the skin. And let this marinate until the rice is finished. And then we got chunk of this. All right, so my gilabat is ready. So I'm gonna take him off the stove. I just lower the heat a little bit. Put him, and then time for the curry. Right, so where we curry? It's two, two layers, so you could use according to how much meat you have. I'm using three teaspoons of curry. I'm gonna put a little bit of saffron. I will stir this up. I will add a little bit of water to this mixture. Good God. Alright, my pot is already on the fire. So I'm going to add my oil to that. I'm going to make sure your pot is nice and hot. I just cook with plenty of oil because I ain't too fat. I'm very tiny. So a little bit of oil is too bad. Enough oil. I let that hot properly. Methi. I'm gonna throw some methi. This is like one nice oil to give it flavor. And this is whole grain jira. You let this get a nice golden color. Right. This is fresh. What do you call this in carapule? And this is my rest of seasoning. I'm going to chunk it here. This is some saffron. To give it color. Give it color, 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 a nice yellow color. I just fry. <coughs> right, here's my curry mixture. I'm going to try inside here. Right, so I let the curry fry properly. Uh, I just add a little extra water to make sure it cook properly. Right, so you let your curry fry properly. After throwing out all this, your grainy and nice. And then you throw in your seasoned meat. Oh God. Okay. Let this now bring its own water and let it fry them fry. And then you add a water in to water according to cook your meat. Right, so I still have my curry drying down there nice. I take my Sahari leaf and I cover my pot so that moon. Alright, so let us fry down well. 
and it's spring its own water. See that? Stick to the pot. Oh, they feel like it smell. Mm. Oh God, I'm out water in already. And now here's my water. Same basin I used to season my meat, and it's from fresh carapule. Let's pour that in there and let that slowly cook. Right, so the water that's true. Boil long already, but it's layers, it's kind of stiff. So I'm gonna taste to see if the meat is cooked, and I will know if to add back a little bit of water just to make sure, just to make sure that it's cooked properly. Mm-hmm. Cook to perfection. Right. So this is our gilabat. The layers. Sprinkle that over. Get some of the surwa, which is sauce or gravy. So this is the finished product. Yeah, feel about there. I have a little audience today. Mm. We're gonna do it Trini style. Everybody take sauce. Nobody take it. Mm. The camera woman can take best mm -hmm. meat. That is a curry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit of fire side, eh? Mm. Mm.